We're here on our nature walk and we're seeing a tree that looks very familiar to me from when I was a kid because there's a lot of uh, natural wild growing plums in Northern California, but I'm not sure if these are ready to eat or even right to eat, but let me just try it out on Jason here. Hey Jason, do you mind just testing out this plum for the children? Um, sure. Now, typically don't do this to a younger sibling or anything, but you know, he's my husband. What do you think? Uh-oh, uh-oh, it's not settling well. Hmm? What? I'm sorry. How it, was it? I, I can't really hear you. Do I have anything in my ear? Oh my gosh. That does not seem like the kind of plum you want to eat. Please. That is crazy. Let me try it though. Mmm, it's delicious. Mm. Oh, I feel so much better now. Well, you got something off your ear or yeah, off your chest. Yeah, one in yours. Wait, what? Oh, ay, ay, ay. This might be a magical plum tree. <gasps> wow, that was the money shot. This is cool. Can you see this? This is a bee doing its work. Oh my gosh, bees are so important. And unfortunately, they're in trouble. Ah, beautiful trees. They give us oxygen. They give us life. I love looking at the tiny particles of bark. Isn't that amazing? It's like our skin or our fingernails. Trees are incredible. You hear the birds? They're saying hello as well. And ivy. Always the glorious ivy that covers so many things. Oh, and Dolly's back again. Dolly, did you find a squirrel? Did you find a squirrel? Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, everybody out there, you'll be happy to know that Dolly finally got her squirrel. Congratulations, Dolly. Hmm. Pretty excited, aren't you? Not the squirrel you're looking for? Squirrel, real squirrel. Sorry, that's just mean. I don't know, Dolly. Just don't think that the squirrel is gonna let you catch it. But this squirrel looks like it'll do.